infrastructure is central to productivity. Uh, we are currently have a bond rate of about two and a bit percent. Governments have got an opportunity to borrow for infrastructure cheaper than they've ever got. We have to be saying, business, commentators, the community, families, to government, we've got these ideas and we've got to give them some ideas. You know, Alan, if you ask the captain, yeah. sorry, Heather, but if you ask the captain and the vice captain in a team to make all the runs, the team will eventually be beaten. Everyone's got to pull their weight and make some runs here. And that includes the wider community. The situation is that serious. But uh, Corinne, uh, I actually, I'd like just to quickly bring in uh, some of our other panellists. Corinne, are you listening to this discussion? Yes, I am. I'm waiting that Alan's brought out so many numbers now. I'm waiting for somebody to yell out, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see in the coming year the, the rhetoric change. I'm, I'm tired of hearing that... Um, We've got a culture of lifters and leaners, and the leaners always seem to be the people with the disability, the long-term unemployed, domestic violence victims who want uh, legal advice, the, the environment. That we've got all. Uh, when I think that some of the leaners may be at the other end of the scale, there are billions upon billions of dollars that we give to mining magnates like Gina, uh, Gina Reinhart, billions of dollars, and yet we're asking poor people. We're asking poor people to fund whatever it is that the government wants to do. I just think that's kind of morally bankrupt.